Hi, David. I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. It's nice to meet you virtually. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself and your film a little bit, please. Sure. Uh, I'm David Michael Maurer. I wrote and directed Mendo's Carousel. And uh, it's a short film. Uh, you know, it's about uh, this young woman, Liza, and she's her, she's lost her dad. She's drinking too much. She's struggling. And one night she breaks into a dry cleaning place to get all the cash out. And she kind of passes out in the back. And the next morning, the proprietor comes in, finds her. And uh, she's sort of pushed to figure out her uh, truth and uh, look at some of her past and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, so um, an art author is the name of the proprietor, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. he was her dad's, um, before he passed, he was, they were part and partners with the dry cleaner. Yes. And um, my question is, it seems like the character author, uh, you know, with, is grappling with the loss um, of a complicated friend. Um, yeah. Um, Mendo, you know, and it seems, and a promise that maybe he had made to him. Uh, I don't know. This is, it's such a short film. I think it's less than 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems like, to me that he was um Liza is the daughter of um Mendo. Yes. And Mendo has passed away. Um and it seems like to me author is sort of pushing Liza away. Uh you know, not like actively taking care of her. Yeah. Maybe as he promised. Was this maybe a uh, part of 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 what you wrote into this? Yeah, you know, I uh I, I I feel like, um, you know, grief is complicated and, um, sometimes we isolate from each other. Sometimes we use stuff to cope with grief, um, that maybe isn't in our, uh, best healthiest interest or our best emotional interest. And we can sometimes push away the people we love most, you know? And, um, for me, like a lot of, the voice of the movie is about honesty because that's that's a real antidote when people get vulnerable with each other and they they get honest about where they're at suddenly the door can crack open to the possibility of like maybe we can find some healing here um and in the film i i think that you know um liza before the story's ever started may have has cause some harm to him and the family and I and and vice versa he's he's weaponizing his his love for her too you know so it's it's complicated and uh these people are trying to figure out how to deal with something that hurts you know yeah and I kind of want to touch on that a little bit because Arthur appears to be significantly affected by the passing um in complex ways. Um, does the title Mendo, Mendo's Carousel uh, speak to the ways in which Mendo was drought with its own complications? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, uh, you know, when you start writing something like this, you have that you have a blank page in front of you. And um, I knew I want to write something universal. And I, I wanted to try to work with these actors. So I started imagining what this could be. And one of the things in the title was I, the working title was amends. Um, and so I had started to play with naming and um, ended up coming up with Arthur and Mendo's dry cleaning shop. Cause I figured, Oh, if I did something graphically, I could make it form the word amends. Ultimately we, we changed course, but um and I, I like the, the final title. I, you know, the idea of a carousel, it's like, it spins you around. It can be dizzying, you know, you need to get off at some point. Um, and also in a dry cleaning shop, you have these like conveyors and things that kind of spin. And um, so it's kind of a, a, an analogy. And also, you know, the film deals with honesty and when we lie, we can spin, you know? 
So that's a part of it too. Well, that, I'm so glad that you spoke on all that because those were like my next couple of questions was like, why, you know, what was the real world inspiration for the Mendoz carousel? And, and like, you know, why the choice of having the short and a dry in a cleaning facility. So you sort of answered all that. Um, oh, good. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, did you have any, any uh, past experiences with cleaners or? No, uh, well, my dad uh, always uh, made friends with the local dry cleaning shop sure. owner. Yeah. And I always loved that. Like they somehow knew about like the school play or whatever was going on in, in the neighborhood, you know? And um, so I always had that experience growing up. Um, and then the other inspiration for me, um, recently, I just crossed the seven year mark of uh, since I decided to quit drinking alcohol. And when I um, made that decision, it was it was a real point where I had to get really honest with myself. And then I had to look at how have I harmed other people in my life? Do I need to go back and make repair and take accountability for my actions and try to be honest with them? And so I, I think that personal experience is, is embedded in this film. And the other thing that came up, which is um, sad, is, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, I, I think a lot of people have lost a lot of people, uh, family and friends and stuff. And uh, I, I lost my grandmother a year and a month after that. My grandfather passed away. And then right before we filmed it, my uncle passed away. So I was like swimming in the grief and wanted to write something to help me therapeutically deal with everything going on. Are you applying for any other festivals or what's your next move? Uh, yeah, we're applying and, and uh, you know, we're <laughs> focused on the world premiere at LA Shorts Fest, International Film Festival right now. But um, that's the that's the thing is you just apply and put it out there and, and hopefully people get a chance to see it and, you know, one foot in front of the other. <laughs> well, good, because we will help you promote it. I will be at the opening tonight. I don't know oh, if great. you're there. Yeah. So if not tonight, then I'm sure our paths will cross and we can meet in person. And yeah. I'm excited for the short film festival. I know there's a lot of festivals these days. Yeah. Um, my goodness, I'm sure keeping busy. I bet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just had dances with films. I just got back from Palm Springs Film Festival. Outfest is going on. Yeah. I'm going over to Toronto for the Female Eye Festival. So I'm sure you've got a whole list yourself that you're looking at. And yeah. um, is there anything else you want to tell us about your film? I love the poster in the background. Is that is Arthur tilting. hugging Liza? Yeah, that's Arthur and, and Liza for me. Sweet. I haven't seen that yet. So. Uh. <laughs> and are you a musician as well? I play I play for fun I don't I, okay. I wouldn't call myself a musician I just enjoy it you know and good we all need those hobbies yeah excellent um, well good Dave I appreciate you uh taking the time for us and, and checking out the film <laughs> good well how can we find you how can we how can our readers and our viewers find the film and you uh you can check out our website mendoscarousel.com great um and then we're on every social media platform out there as Mendo's Carousel. So you can look up Wonderful. there. Yeah. Well, we're the Hollywood Times dot today, the YouTube channel, the Hollywood Times official. And um, so the best of luck at this LA shorts coming up. And uh, I love talking to you and the best of luck with Mendo's Carousel. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Okay. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.